I've ordered a few hundred Wranglers when I was previously at a dealership and I've owned dozens of them at this point. But the biggest question I used to get while consulting or talking with folks is, should I add this option? Should I delete this? Or man, I didn't even know I could add that. Here are some great tips on how you should factory order your Wrangler. Now, obviously, I know that this video isn't going to answer all of your questions. This is a good one to kind of go over the basics, but that's why I want to throw a little shameless plug in here. We have created a Patreon page, and in there, we have a lot of cool tiers, a lot of great things that you can jump onto, but one of the best ones on there is actually a feature where you can set up a phone call with me, so we can go through any of the questions that you might have when it comes to either factory ordering, your Jeep build, what kind of lift kit you should put on, or if you have some even deeper questions and you wanna hear my opinion on them, definitely check that out as well. We'll leave the link in the description. With that being said, let's hop onto the Jeep build and price website and start building one of these things out and give you guys some options. All right guys, so we are here. We're on Jeep.com and we're about to build and price out a Wrangler. Now, this is probably the easiest way to go on and do it. Obviously building it out on Jeep.com is a way to see most of the options that you can get. However, I'm gonna give you a caveat that right away in the beginning, a lot of the information on here isn't up to date. So it looks like what Jeep does throughout the process of them adding and removing colors and removing options, they leave a lot of it on here. And the reason they do, so I had this issue with pink with the Tuscadero color, they left it on there so that way you could still search for local inventory that matched that color, which meant you had to still be able to build it out in Tuscadero even though you couldn't order it. That's enough talking, let's go into the 23. We're gonna click top left 23. This is probably the first thing I have to let you know. Make sure you're building out the most current model year. You can still build out a 22, you can't order one. So we're gonna go into a 23 and we're gonna click build your Wrangler. You can see the Willys 4 by e popped up right away. That's uh, just came out and it looks like they're pushing it pretty good. I'll say the other thing that I don't really like, um, from the 22 to the 23, the rendering seemed to have gone down pretty badly. So I don't know if they just changed things up a little bit, but on here, the first thing you're gonna see is the model comparison. This is where kind of that perk of chatting about things I would say on that Patreon or getting into a more further call is to figure out exactly what you want or what you need in a Jeep. Now going through here, you can build out a two door, you can build out a four door. The one thing I want you guys also to know that if you change it to the lease payment, when you're looking at the lease payment and how low they are, a lot of them don't include different taxes for your local area. So don't go into the dealership with that lease payment and be like, here's what it said, Here's what I need to pay, because most of the time it still needs to be factored in. But with that being said, if you take this information on how to factory order and go into a dealership with it, you'll have the ability to kind of say, here's exactly what I want. And more often than not, you should be able to get a better deal than MSRP. But I'll leave that up to the dealership because ultimately it's not my decision. I want to help you guys out as much as I can with how to build the Jeep out. Looking at all these, we can see all the brand new colors. There's some Earl Grey, there's some Purple Rain, which I don't even believe is available right now. But for today's sake, we're gonna build out a Rubicon because of the features on there. I would say the biggest ones that I ordered back in the day was the Rubicon and the Rubicon 392. So it seems like those have really perked it up and those are kind of the ones that people do like to factory order. Now on here, color selection. Like I just mentioned, color selection. And when we're looking at this here, these colors sometimes aren't available. So I know right now that Purple Rain is not available to order. Earl Grey still is, but you gotta give the dealership a call or at least let them know which one you're interested in to see if they even know if it's available or not. In our case, we're gonna stick with a high vis yellow just because I know it is still available. There are a lot of things to know when building and pricing out a Jeep as well. So when I was doing this, the biggest thing to know is that smaller kind of trinkety or add-on items do tend to slow up the build. So the doors off mirror kit, the sill plates, the soft top storage bag, things like that, they didn't always, but they could slow down your build. Now, what I like to say is if you're going to do that and you decide I want the doors off mirror kit or I want the sill plates, what I would suggest is probably leave them off of your build and then just add them on once you get the Jeep or order them through a parts department or online. That to me is the easiest way to get a hold of some of those and not slow up your entire build by even weeks or God forbid you hold up your build for a month just by adding on the doors off mirror kit. So looking at those, like I said, there are some things you can do after the fact, but there are also a lot of things that you can't do. The biggest one for me, the integrated off-road camera. You can do that after the fact, but it's going to be aftermarket. So I had some guys kind of just asking me if you could do it afterwards. You can through a company called Taser, but it still is not fully integrated the way that the factory one is. It doesn't have the sprayer nozzle. It's not gonna look and feel OEM. And I think the angle is a little bit different when you go aftermarket. 
it was a big one for me and it's a nominal price point at 595 when you're already potentially building out a 60 to even 80 90 thousand dollar rig just to add that on there and i will say if you ever decide to sell your jeep it does add a little bit to the resale too a lot of options like the decals those are all personal preference i haven't seen them personally slow up builds but if you like them add them on just know you can still do those after the fact you would just have to have a graphics person do them as well when it comes to a few of the other options that are on the 23 so body color rubicon highline flares that's one of those ones that's going to be tricky to do after the fact you can still pick up a set of the primered ones and then have them painted at a local body shop but at the same token you're probably going to pay just as much to pick up a set of the primered ones and then have them painted so if, if i was doing it i always do it anyways I would order it with those if you like that look. Now the biggest question, the next one, the elephant in the room, the Extreme Recon package. As you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, I do have that on my Wrangler. I think it's one of the best packages that they have come out with. We plan on doing a full video on whether or not it's worth it to do it for the 23 Wrangler, just depending on how much the cost goes up to do that. In my personal opinion, I thought it was worth it when I ordered my 22, just because of everything you got. Now I do plan on modifying, pulling lift kit components off, and potentially doing wheels and tires on there, but for what you get out of the gate, it is a great package. That's a big thing to consider. Unfortunately, it's not available for the diesel, only right now for the two liter, the 3.6, as well as that 392, which I believe that was also removed here recently too. So it's only available for a few engine and it does seem to switch and go back and forth all the time. So that one is very important. If you see that available, if your dealer can order it, I would probably do it because you never know what happens the next day. Now going down through, some of the big ones, you know, we've got dual top group. I like to get into the dual top group or the one touch. If you guys think you're gonna buy a soft top after the fact, if you think you're gonna go and buy a Mopar one, do the dual top group. Get that right away. It's included in your vehicle sales code, which means that the soft top and the hard top are covered under your full warranty. And it's a way better deal to do it too. I think it is a great deal to buy those right away. It comes in the box in the back and you have everything plus the full warranty on both components. If you're doing Sky One Touch, this is the time to do it. You can't do it after the fact. Now, don't correct me on that. I'm sure you can by spending oodles of money, but do it now and you're not gonna regret that one if you like that feature or if you don't plan on taking your, your hard top or soft top off at all. When it comes to some of the options that I would say aren't really available to be done after the fact, those are where I would be willing to spend a couple extra thousand dollars to get those done and not have to worry about them. The biggest ones for me, so the must haves, if I'm looking, ordering, buying, whatever I'm doing with the new JL, I need to have the cold weather group, I need to have the LED lighting group, and the tow hall or the tow and auxiliary switch group. Those are my must haves. The reason being, you can do the cold weather group, sure, after the fact, you can get heated seats installed, you can probably have an aftermarket remote start system installed. The heated steering wheel is kind of a problem though. So you're gonna get everything all that built in for $11.95 as of the time of this filming and it is well worth the money. Even if you guys live in Miami, you know that you wake up on some of those cold mornings and you don't wanna throw your top on, sometimes a little bit of heat on your butt does well for you. The LED lighting group, same thing, you can do it after the fact. You can do those all, you can add on all the LED lighting group, but to buy those kit components separately, it costs more. So it's gonna cost more and then it's not a factory option, so you're gonna run into a little bit of issues when it comes to warranty. That is a must have for me. Now, the other one, like I said before, the trailer tow and heavy duty electrical group, I think it is a great value for everything you get. You get the tow hitch, the seven pin connector, the four pin connector, the auxiliary switches, and then also the higher duty alternator, as well as the 700 amp maintenance free battery. The biggest thing for this is the price of all those to do them separately comes pretty close to what the option costs, but the labor involved to install them is not fun. If you guys remember me back in the day from CJ Offroad, I've installed the hitch wiring as well as the auxiliary switch wiring. It is not an easy task. I am talking about repinning main harnesses and ripping apart half of your interior. Just let the factory do it if you're gonna order it. Even if you don't plan on towing anything, you never know. And also in the future, this can be a big deterrent if you don't have that on when looking at a resale. If you don't have a hitch, the next person might want to use it with one, and they're going to know the cost associated to add all that on after the fact. Powertrain, big question as well. We've gotten into that a little bit, and we plan on doing a future video comparing all the engine models to figure out which one is right for you. Now, looking down as well, this has been a more recent item that Jeep has added. I believe you can. Let me check this out. 
it is going to allow you to add the 488 rear axle ratio, which is both front and rear. And now that's only with the 3.6 for right now. So Extreme Recon, 488, and, and the 3.6 engine, it almost seems like they're getting ready for a bigger size tire. But if you guys like to wheel and you plan on going up to a 37, this is a great option for you. Like I said before, there's a lot of kind of fear for the Extreme Recon package, but getting a re-gear done all built into that, it's for a great price. So definitely, definitely consider it if you're looking into that. Another thing that you can't do after the fact, or you can with a lot of extra money, for the four to one rock track full-time four wheel drive, which we actually just talked about in our last video, $7.95 for that option, it's cheap. So now I'm not saying it's cheap because basically what they're doing is giving you a credit for your regular transfer case and adding on the better one. But I would say for that $7.95, if you've got someone more inexperienced in driving a four wheel drive vehicle and you don't have to worry about shifting, that's gonna be a great option for you. Now we're done, we're at the end. You can see it removed a lot of options for me. I'm back down to 49,835. But overall, what I wanted this video to do is show you how I order my Wranglers and the thought process I have going into this. There are a lot of things that I like to add on right away onto a Jeep build so you don't have to do it later on. And there's some things that you wanna start base-wise for creature comforts. I like to put these things on right away and get them built in because let's look at it nominally. If you're financing, these might add your payment up 50 to $100 more a month, but you've got now a Jeep that completely covers everything you wanted it to and all the features you want as well. Honestly, nothing more fun for me than going Jeep.com and building different Jeeps out just to try them out. Some days I'll go on and just build to think maybe I wanna order that, maybe I don't. Maybe I would like that trim, I add half doors, I remove them. These are things that I like to sit and do and honestly, I've done it so much that I can walk through these kind of blindfolded and still get you the best Best options for the specific way you intend on using your Jeep. Now I know this video didn't cover everything and the reason is is because it would be a two-hour video and it probably still wouldn't cover the exact questions that you have. Don't worry like I said before there is some ways that I can help that out. The Patreon that we just created that can get you some personal time with me as well as all of the other different tiers that you can go on to and really just become a bigger part of this channel. I love all of you guys that are here and I really appreciate all the comments and the support that we've been receiving for the past few months on this channel. If you have any other content ideas this one was pulled from the comments of our last video when i asked for content ideas drop them below let's chat down there and get some of those content ideas out there so i can probably cover them in a future video i very much appreciate that and it really helps me decide what you guys want to hear and what you want to see as well but until next time i am matt with dirt road cred get out there and earn yours